Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's grade 10 math class. This is 2.2, the length of a line segment. Okay, so we're going to jump right in, uh, in with this example. Hanwin and Brahm are orienteering on a coordinate grid. They start at the same point on the grid at 1, 4. So that's 1, 4. Let's say it's here. And let's call that S. And Hanwin walks north to 1, 7. By the way, if you don't have graph paper, you need to bring some to class tomorrow. So let's call that H right there, 1, 7. Brahm walks west to negative 4, 4 right here, call it B. Then how far apart are Hanwin and Brahm? Okay, so basically um, Hanwin is walking up from here to here and Brahm is walking from here to here and we want to know the distance between them. So how far is this distance right here, right? So you can see that I've just formed a right angle triangle so I actually can use this information to help me out, right? So um, we know that this is at 1, 4, and this is at 1, 7. So that tells us that this distance is 3, right? And I also know that b is at negative 4, 4. So if I just count the, count the squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 5. So if I use this triangle, I actually can tell that this length bh is going to be the hypotenuse, right? So um, Let's call this little a, and let's call this little b. Then this is c, and we know a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, right? So um, a is 3, and b is 5, and that gives us the length squared. So we're going to do the square root of 9 plus 25. That gives us c, uh, which is the square root of 34, which we can't simplify. And uh, since it doesn't tell us to round, then we know that we're just going to leave it as an exact value. Okay, so they are root 34 units apart. It doesn't say uh, how far each unit is, so we'll just write it like that. Okay, so we actually don't need a formula to figure out how far apart they are, um, and that's because we use this this uh, right angle triangle. and um, we can use this information to develop the formula. So actually what we did was in order to find that 3, we actually did the, um, we actually subtracted off these uh, y values. So we did the square root of y2 minus y1 squared, right? And to find this one, we did x2 minus x1 squared, right? And that ended up being the length. So the difference in the height plus uh, squared plus the difference in the um, horizontal squared gives us the hypotenuse, right? So that is the formula that we're actually going to be using to find the length of any line segment. Um, so let's look at this question. And here's the formula right here. I wrote it again. Length equals x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Um, so to make round parts, programmable machine tools often use a coordinate system with the origin at the center of the part. So right here, how far apart are the centers of the mounting holes A and B in this cam? So we're using this diagram here. This is page 74 in your textbook. The coordinates are in centimeters. Round your answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, so we want to know the distance from A, which is, it looks like it's about um, negative 3, 5, and B, which is at 2, negative 4. And again, if I want to draw that triangle, I can, and I'll find the height of this is going to be y2 minus y1, and this length here is going to be x2 minus x1, and then I can use that to find um, this hypotenuse, right? So we can just plug it into this formula. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Length is equal to, and remember you always have to write the formula out, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. By the way, it doesn't matter which one is what x2 and which one is x1, which one is y2, which is y1, just as long as you keep it straight. So uh, make sure that you just, if this is first, then this one will be first, right? So negative 3 minus 2 squared plus 5 minus negative 4, so I'll put plus 4 squared. And uh, I'm showing you the minimum number of steps that I want to see in order to get full marks. So this is 5 squared. 
which is 25 plus 9 squared, 81. So the answer ends up being the square root of 106, which is not simplifiable, but it doesn't matter because it says round your answer to the nearest tenth. So I used my calculator before and I got 10.3 centimeters. And because it's a word problem, we're going to write a word solution. The holes are 10.3 centimeters apart. Put a little victory dance around it and we're done. Okay, so we're going to do one more question. To find the length of the median from P for a triangle with vertices P, Q, and R. Okay, so I do have this grid here and you could use it if you want, but you actually don't need to. Uh, remember that the median goes from the midpoint of the opposite side midpoint of opposite side. So all I need to do is find the um, find the coordinates for that midpoint and then use it use P. So I'm finding length PM and that's going to be the midpoint of QR. So I could do MQR like this. Okay, so that's the length that I want to find. So first thing I'm going to do is find MQR and as always I'm writing my formula out x1 plus x2 over 2 y1 plus y2 over 2. So I really just drew this grid for you um, in case you just want to draw it, but you don't have to. Um, often we get coordinates and we don't really need them. 7 plus 1 over 2. Or sorry, grid. Uh, we don't need a graph it, I mean. So um, negative 1 plus 5 over 2. So this ends up being 4, 2. Okay. And now I just have to find the length. So the length is going to be uh, the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And I'll just fill in the numbers. So 4 minus negative 2 is plus 2 squared plus 2 minus negative 2 squared which gives us the square root of 6 squared, 36, plus uh, 4 squared, which is 16. So we get the square root of 52. And I can simplify that to be 2 root 13. Okay, so that is our solution. The median from P is 2 root 13. And let's see what the units are. Double check, it doesn't say. Units long. All right, and that's it. So basically all we learned today is that you have this length formula, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, which is based on the uh, right angle triangle, the length of the hypotenuse. So we're really talking about finding the hypotenuse here. And um, that is about it. I hope you enjoyed it. Bring any questions you have to class, and I'll see you soon. Bye.